Welcome to Orbit. In this video, I'll show you how to log in, find books that you will love to read, and set up your very own library page. Ready to get started? To log in, you'll need a username and password. If you don't know what these are, you can ask your teacher or librarian. If your school doesn't have usernames, that's okay too. You can still find the books you want to read. If you have your username and password, click here. Then, add your username here and your password here. When you log in, you can see your name up here. This means this is a space just for you. And guess what? You can change your background and avatar. I'll show you how to do this later, but first, let's go find some books. Two of the ways to look for books in Orbit are by typing words into the search bar here, or you can use pick and click. Let's start with pick and click. Maybe you're looking for something to read, but don't know exactly what book you want to read. Pick and click makes this easier by letting you choose things that you like to read about and help you find those books in your library. Just click here and you're ready to start. I like animals, so I'm going to click on that. Now I'm going to click on dinosaurs and go. This looks like a great book. Maybe you didn't find a book that you wanted to read or perhaps someone else has already borrowed it. Just click on pick and click and start again. Maybe you know what type of book you want to read. You can also use the search box, which is here. You can choose different types of searches or you can just start typing. You can search for a book based on a word, subject, genre, book title, author, series, or a reading list. I'm going to choose word and search for cat. When you start typing, Orbit will give you some words to pick from to help you out. If you don't see what you want, just keep typing. Click go when you're ready to search, or if you click on one of the options down here, it will start the search for you. Now you can see the books your library has about cats. Let's try our dinosaur search again, this time using the search bar. First, I'm going to click on search to go back to the search screen. I type dinosaur, click go, and there are the books. This looks like a great pick. Remember how I said you can make Orbit look the way you want? Let's go do that. Click on my library, then click on settings. Look at all these things I can change. First, I'm going to change my background by clicking here. Hmm. I like aliens, so I'm going to click on Alien World. And here's my favorite part. Did you know you can change your avatar? And you don't have to pick just the ones you can see here. If you click here, you can see all of the different types of avatars you can choose from, like animals people, superheroes. Hmm, I think I'm going to go back to classic. What do I feel like being today? A chef? Hmm, no. A builder? No, hang on. I think I'll be an octopus. But where would I find that? I know, in sea life. Can you see that when I picked octopus, it changed my picture up here? Once you're finished picking your look, don't forget to click save to keep your changes. I hope you had fun looking around Orbit with me. It's now time to blast off and find books you love to read and find your very own avatar and background. And don't forget, if you have any questions, ask your librarian or teacher.